Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here on Sip, Spark, and Share with your favorite girls. I'm Sarai. And I'm Alexandra. And today we're going to be discussing inner peace. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Alexandra, what does inner peace mean to you? Okay, so inner peace to me, um, it means tranquility, it means calmness, positivity, mm -hmm. direction, discipline. All of those things, I think, they all have to do with inner peace. And okay. of course, self. Like, you're, you have to look within and how you feel yourself. Okay, I can see what, that. Yeah, what about For you? me, inner peace really has to do with total alignment mm -hmm. with your mind, your body, and your soul. Mm -hmm. I feel like if those three things do not connect, mm -hmm. something will be off or anything can throw you off. Mm -hmm. So inner peace really has to do with how well do you do in the middle of the storm, right? Because peace could come and go right? Yeah. Happiness can come and go. Mm -hmm. But that inner stillness is something that does not leave you when you truly do have it. And you know how to take on things that come at you. Of course. How, how do you know when you have found peace? I think it goes back to mm -hmm. knowing that alignment of your mind, body and soul, like mm -hmm. having that connection. Mm -hmm. For me, the way that I knew it was just that when things started happening to me, mm -hmm. I wouldn't let it affect me personally I would understand that this is the situation the situation is going to pass me and yes I'm upset I'm uncomfortable but no matter what I know that I am okay yeah so I just had like that firmness it didn't of, derail you it did not derail me at all so that's the way that I knew mm -hmm. um what about for you have you found inner peace so I think that I'm on the path of finding peace okay um, I don't want to say that I'm at 100% at peace mm -hmm. but I do believe that I've I'm getting there and I realized and I noticed actually when I started getting there was when I started to wake up happy like I started to wake up um content and I didn't look at things I I wouldn't look at life as a burden okay. I used to look at my life as a burden mm -hmm. and like I was always on survival mode and okay. I was always um just taking it like well, what does today have for me? And not even in like in a good way. Okay. So, so when you were I, already looking for the downfall I of your like, day. Yeah, I was very pessimistic. So mm -hmm. when I started to wake up happy and excited to wake up and excited to put the baby on the bus and yeah. excited to do, when I started to be excited about life, that's when I believe that I found inner peace. Okay, so then you did find inner peace. I, I well, I started to go on the path of finding it. Okay, so you're on currently on the journey. Yeah, I'm on the journey right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And can you let us know what are some habits or routines that you're taking on this journey so that the viewers, maybe perhaps people out there are on the same path, but they don't know what to do? Okay, so what I started to do um, on my journey um, was I, I like... I changed my language. Mm -hmm. So I remember that was a big thing a couple of months ago that um, I, like I said earlier, I was very pessimistic. I was, I always was looking for, you know, the other foot to, what is it? The <laughs> other thing. I was always looking for something to happen. Mm -hmm. And um, so what I, what I do currently now is I, I change my language. I, I, I speak positively. I say, instead of saying like, oh, I hope I can do this or I would like to do this. I say, I'm going to, I'm going to. Um, you know, I look forward to this. I, I've just changed everything. There's nothing negative that comes out of my mouth. Yes, one or two days I'll have a yeah. negative thing, but I try to correct it all the time. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that I've done. Um, another thing that I that I do is I put like self care. And I know that that seems like that has to do with self esteem or something like that, but my journey self esteem is a part of it. Okay. Um, when I had to find peace, I had to learn how to love myself. And I had to learn how to respect myself and stuff like that. So it, it does correlate. I know that it may maybe to some people it doesn't seem like it does. But mm -hmm. in my specific journey, because everyone's journey is different. Correct. So that piece for you may not be the same piece for me. Um, so in my particular path, 
<laughs> I started taking a lot of self-care um, methods into place and, and you know, I try I you got to take it one step at a time and you got to do things one day at a time, especially when you was in such, such, such a dark place. You can't overwhelm yourself. I agree. Do you have any methods? Yes. Mm -hmm. So for me, I don't think that there's one path to finding inner peace, mm -hmm. but I do want to say that finding happiness mm -mm. Mm -hmm. and finding inner peace are two different things. I agree. Yeah. And your journey towards growth and change is also completely different mm -hmm. than the inner peace. Mm -hmm. So for me, it really was about practicing mindfulness. Mm -hmm. And what mindfulness is, is waking up and being present and being in the moment. Mm -hmm. I think I lived so much in the future and the things that I wanted to acquire mm -hmm. that I was not enjoying my presence. And then, and that just also with being careful with what I intake. Mm -hmm. So whatever I was watching and listening to, I had to be <laughs> careful. Because that's why it says be mindful because mm -hmm. those things do stay in your subconscious. Mm -hmm. And then you start believing it. So I had to be careful with what I was intaking, what I was listening to, what I was looking at. And then as far as my body, which is also the second part, I had to be careful for what I was intaking as far as eating. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't so much about losing weight, but it was about how I was feeling with the food that I was eating. Because yeah. that also affects my mind. Yeah. And then the spiritual part, which was the one that truly brought me through to inner peace. It wasn't anything else. The other things were the beginning, the start of it. Mm -hmm. But it was truly just... Having that faith with God for me, mm -hmm. it's what made that switch just make me feel like, okay, I got this. Mm -hmm. So mind, body, and soul, all three things need to connect, but you have to work on each one individually. Yeah. That's why it's a long process. It's not yes. finding peace or being at peace. It's not easy and it's not like a short one, two, three, you wake no. up and you find it. And I also wanted to add mm -hmm. that um, I like to, so before I, I have a couple of friends that they, I know that we had asked these questions before and um, in like conversations before. And a lot of people get that confused. They believe that just because you're happy, you're at peace. Or just because you found peace, you automatically found happiness. And, yes. I, you know, and it's something, it's a misconception for a lot of people. Yes. And I remember that when we was sitting down, I remember I had broken down for one particular friend. And I said, happiness is an adjective. Yes. Um, happiness can be replaceable. It's mm -hmm. temporary. One day you're happy, one day you're not happy. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a very temporary thing. I believe that peace is like a noun. So it's a, it's a state, like you were saying, it's a state of mind. And it's something that is not easily taken away. Somebody yeah. can, once you found peace, it's not that easy for someone to come and take it away. Yes, they'll try to. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> many people will try to, yeah. and many people will question your peace, yeah. and many people will even fight you for your peace. But mm -hmm. it's not something that once you have it, it's it's very, very difficult to take that from somebody. It is, and I could only speak from experience because I've been lucky enough mm -hmm. or blessed enough to have experience both. And I've experienced both completely separately. Yeah. So I experienced the happiness, like that true inner happiness where you're just in awe and you're just so happy with yourself mm -hmm. and the people around you. But that didn't give me the inner peace that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And then when I experienced my inner peace, I wasn't at my happiest moment. Mm -hmm. I wasn't at that top peak that I was when I reached my happiness. Mm -hmm. I was actually at my lowest. Yeah. And in my lowest was when I found that true inner peace. But again, it had to do with my faith and that connection that I had with God. Mm -hmm. And that's what gave it to me. So you can have one without the other. Yeah. Um, if you're lucky enough, you get to have both, both at the same time. and and they do, it's, it's always changing as well as you're evolving. So now that we've discussed the difference between happiness mm -hmm. and inner peace, mm -hmm. which we know that you can have now one without the other, mm -hmm. what would you say the difference is between peace and inner peace? Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people also get that one confused. Yeah. Can you break that down to our audience? I think that when you um, speak about inner peace, you're speaking about yourself. Um, it's a very personal uh, journey, and it's uh, it has to do with you. So I believe that inner peace has to do with you. Um, I believe that peace has to do kind of with, I don't want to say um, everyone else, but kind of just situations that you're in 
and surroundings that you're in and mm -hmm. peace peace amongst us if if i if i'm making my if i'm explaining I think you myself. do i think what you're you're trying to say is peace would be the absence of let's say conflict okay yes peace between let's say um you have peace when there's no war mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so we look at peace within even the community okay when yes. things are peaceful peace, yeah but inner peace has to do with like you said just your inner inner self yeah. with how you feel yeah. it's like that feeling of calmness of steadiness yeah. so it's completely different it's very personal it's a personal peace. individual mm -hmm. thing because yeah. we could be at peace right now mm -hmm. in recording this podcast mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but not be at inner peace with ourselves yeah. so it's it's two different things and i think it's important for people to know the difference because Absolutely. peace itself comes and goes mm -hmm. one minute you're in conflict the next minute peace comes in mm -hmm. but that inner innerness it doesn't matter what's around you when your foundation is strong nothing will shake it yeah. you, but you'll still feel all the motions yeah. that everybody else does i think you feel it more i yeah absolutely <laughs> you definitely do yeah. but you just know what to do with it mm -hmm. and then you know at the end of the day it's an emotion emotions come and go yeah. but when you don't have that understanding it can be very detrimental and you just think like oh my god this is never going to end and you just get stuck yeah so I have an interesting question I want to mm -hmm. ask you. Do you believe that there's a dark side to peace? That is actually a I... very good question. <laughs> is there a dark side to peace? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say absolutely there is. Yeah, I agree. And I'm going to tell you why. Mm -hmm. Because in order for you to get to the other side, mm -hmm. you need to walk into the darkness. Yeah, absolutely. I like to call it you're walking into the valley of death. Mm -hmm. And you literally need to die mm -hmm. in order to be reborn. Absolutely. Right? So you need to shed mm -hmm. those old skin, mm -hmm. old habits, old routines, old people. people, places, mm -hmm. things. All of that mm -hmm. needs to be faced and needs to be let go mm -hmm. in order for you to be at true inner peace. I agree. Wonderful. And as long as you're holding on to that, whatever it is... Mm -hmm you will never reach the other side. Mm -hmm. You're going to end up yo-yoing back and forth, which is a reason why I see a lot of people, they get better for a little bit, and then they go right back to square one yeah. because they're not ready to let go of those things that are keeping them back. Yeah. So yes, there is a dark side. And I always say as much as I want to preach about go into the dark side and face your fears mm -hmm. and your inner demons, but it's like, if you're going to do it, just be prepared. It's hard. And don't do it alone. No. You really should not have to seek support. Yeah. Seek a friend, a mentor, a therapist. A therapist. Yeah. But do it because it's worth it. Mm -hmm. And so, because yeah. you want to. And because you're ready. Absolutely. To. You have to be ready. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter what anybody tells you. If you don't feel that it's the time, that mm -hmm. it's not right, yeah. then don't do it. Because it can be a very dark, scary, and lonely place. Because when you go in there, it's just you. There's nobody going in there with you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there is a dark side. Mm -hmm. I think there's a dark side, too. I think that when you're going to go, when you when you decide. So, I, I feel like inner peace and finding peace is a decision that you make. Um, when you decide that you're going to live and you're going to do this, you're going to be peaceful, you're going to... You're going to find inner peace. I feel like you have to let go, like you were saying, and you have to um, sacrifice a lot. I think that it comes with a lot of sacrifice. The way that I used to live and the way that, unfortunately, I grew up, yeah. um, it, it, I didn't even understand what peace was. Like That never even came into my brain, yeah. that like you can live like this. And it's mm -hmm. just, I'm just so excited. It's really, <laughs> it's really, it's, it's, you guys should do it. You should try it, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely it's been it's been a long journey for me. Yeah, it has, it's long. <laughs> and it wasn't something that I'll be honest with you. I wasn't searching for it. That's yeah. something that literally came to me mm -hmm. through the things that I was going through. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I woke up and said, "I'm gonna search for inner peace" because I didn't know that I even needed inner peace. I looked. For I it. thought. <laughs> I was fine because yeah. I lived in peace mm -hmm. my whole life. Mm -hmm. So because I lived in peace my whole life, inner peace wasn't something I was searching for. Oh, that's so interesting. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because 
my situation is opposite to yours. Yeah, yeah. You were searching for peace because you didn't have it at home. Yeah, yeah. But I, I did have it. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't have was my inner peace. Mm -hmm. I knew there, there was something that was off, but I didn't know what it was mm -hmm. until I start digging deeper into why am I the way that I am. Mm -hmm. And once I went on that quest, it was like there was just no returning. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what made me, I guess, find it along the way. Yeah. So it's not an easy um, journey. And I also do believe that there's no one method, like we were saying before, no, to get there. There's several ways. So I think that those are common misconceptions. Yes. And I think a common misconception that people have is that because you have inner peace, mm -hmm. that everything around you is okay. <laughs> I think that is the biggest mm -hmm. misconception that people have. Mm -hmm. That because you have inner peace, nothing is going on in your life that no no wrong is being done to you you're not going through pain mm -hmm. you're not feeling all the emotions oh, and it's so actually <laughs> quite the complete opposite <laughs> i feel like the more inner peace you have mm -hmm. the more you felt the pain yeah. and not only yours but for also for the people that are around you because you have so much compassion and empathy yeah. that you begin to feel other people's emotions mm -hmm. because you're no longer just feeling for yourself yeah so i think that is a big misconception that people don't even have an idea that no it's the complete opposite yeah people think oh you know she's she got this. She's strong. Whatever. She's her life is. She got it together. She found her peace. Yeah. And it's like yeah, no. It's, <laughs> it's like definitely um, not. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> How do you navigate through stressful life situations while maintaining peace within yourself? Oh, that's a good one. It's a good one, and it's one that I'm still like practicing right now. Yeah. Because there's so many things going on around me yeah. with just my friends alone. <laughs> They're like going through a really hard time. Are we going through those things? <laughs> and at the same time that they're going through it. You're going through it. I'm going through it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying not to lose myself within all the chaos and all the commotion and all the feelings. And I just have to remind myself that Sarai, even though yes, you are going through something, but still try to be a support for them mm -hmm. because they are still in the journey, yeah. but they're not there yet. Yeah. So have some compassion and empathy for them. Be that support, but also hold yourself up as well and be okay to speak up and say, hey guys, I know that you're going through this, but so am I, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm still human, I'm still figuring it out, and we could do this together. I so, think you're in one of the toughest positions because... When a person found inner peace already, yeah. right? And you've already gone through this journey and you've already like, let's say you're at level, I don't know, let's put levels to it. Let's say you're mm -hmm. at level five, right? Mm -hmm. And then me that I'm starting off, so let's say I'm on level two. When you're going through the journey, so you went through this and unfortunately you went through this alone. Yeah. And then, because none of us knew what was going on and none of us mm -hmm. kind of understood yeah. what was going on because we were still over here, Miss, Miss Chaotic <laughs> over here, right? So... <laughs> When when you're going when when we are going through it, mm -hmm. um, you start to lose faith. You know, in when you're go okay. So I'm gonna speak about me personally. Yeah. I remember that I don't know if it was like two years ago, or whatever. That's when I started my journey, and then now recently, before uh, the bomb I hit, um, a couple of months before, I was like so. Um, like, how can I explain it? I was like giving up, and I started telling you, I was like, you know, like this is this is hard and I started like not getting out of bed again yeah. and I started and so you picked up on it yeah and you were like okay we need to refocus we need to you know take a step back Alexandra let's do this let's do that mm -hmm. but you didn't have anybody to do that for you yeah. so when you was going through your journey so I'm lucky to have you number one mm -hmm. because it's you <laughs> and then number number two because you've already gone through this journey so you can kind of guide me through the way yeah. but unfortunately you didn't have that no but even though like let's say I'm I'm guiding you in a way mm -hmm. you still have to go through it yeah. on your own. No, no, so you still, you're, you're, yeah. you're still going to experience those things that I went through. Yeah. 
which is the sad part that it's like as much as I want to help you, I really can't. No, can. <laughs> I just have to keep nudging you to go in the hole. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. I'm just not letting you come out. Yeah. Because I want you to finish the full yeah. exploration experience, <laughs> which is the one where people get scared and run back to yeah. their old routines, yeah. old habits. Yeah. Which is what was happening to you. And I saw it and I was like, No, yeah. stand firm. If yeah. this is truly what you want, it's gonna take work. Yeah. And you can't cheat. And there's no way out. So it's just like, go back in and, and, and do it. <laughs> go back. Right? So yes, you did have that. Yeah. But I guess what I had was that faith with God. Yeah. And I guess he's the one that pushed me in yeah. all the way. So it's not like I didn't have maybe somebody in the human flesh. But I did have that higher being mm -hmm. that was like, no, you, you need to do it. Mm -hmm. So everybody at the end of the day will have somebody, whether it's physical, everyone has their someone, <laughs> or spiritually, but everybody has someone. That is so true. Yeah. But I'm glad that you see that you need to finish it. Yeah. Like, you yeah. have to. Yeah. Like, there's no... It's, just, it's hard. You know, it's hard. It's and difficult. It's, you have to face a lot of demons. You got to face a lot of demons. You gotta and the face... demons, let's just correct. Yeah, it's no. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. are no, I don't your own. Mean... <laughs> Yeah, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like you gotta face like you know your you own gotta trauma. Face yourself. Yeah, yeah, face yourself. And it's hard to face your yourself and yeah. and start admitting when mm -hmm. you was wrong and taking accountability. You know, we laugh at this mm -hmm. and we make light humor out of things. <laughs> what are you gonna ask me? <laughs> but no, it's not that I'm gonna ask you. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of like. Just reflecting as I'm sitting here talking to you. And it's just like, wow, if more people were able to have, like, someone in the corner yeah. rooting for them mm -hmm. and really pushing them to do the uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, how much progress, how much change and growth a person can have, you know? Because I feel like we have friends and sometimes... We support each other, but we don't support each other in those things because yeah. those are things that people don't really sit down and talk about. Like, you know what I mean? Like before when we used to sit and talk about problems, we never were talking about, well, how can we fix it in a way to better ourselves? No. It was more just like, what's yeah. the solution to not be in there? Yeah. But yet not face why we're in there in the first place. Yeah, we you know were like I mean? putting band-aids on yeah, each other. Yeah, it was just band-aid over band-aid yeah. over band-aid. Yeah. And it's just like, you're wasting I don't want to say, I don't like using the word wasted time because I think no. nothing is wasted. Everything that you go to is for a reason yeah. and it has its purpose. Mm -hmm. But it's like, damn, if we could just get to it sooner, how much better could we be? You know what I mean? So yeah. I feel like these conversations are so important to have. Like, talk about what inner peace actually means to you and, and figure that out. Get to know yourself. It goes back to the root of it all. Yeah. Who truly, who are you? Yeah. Who are you without yeah, those people, it, places, and things yeah. that got you in the hole in the first place? So, yeah, it's just me reflecting. You know me. I'm always <laughs> looking know. within. <laughs> so why do some people find it so difficult to find inner peace? Why is that hard? Well, I think because they're ignorant to it. They don't know what it means. Mm -hmm. I think um, if you're a chaotic person, for mm -hmm. instance... And you grew up, I'll use myself once again as an yeah. example, and you grew up in a chaotic household. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, you had a chaotic um, relationship or whatever, and you're just, you just know chaos. Mm -hmm. You don't, peace is uncomfortable for you. You don't know what peace is. I remember yeah. that there was um, times that, let's say nothing is happening and everything is so still and steady and calm and tranquil. That was uncomfortable for me. Yeah. Silence was uncomfortable for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. Like right away, I would say, "Oh, my anxiety, no, because I need, I need, I can't, no, no, no." And I would turn on the music, yeah. but it's because I, I couldn't, like, I couldn't uh, face your mind. I couldn't face my mind. Yeah. I couldn't handle it. Yeah. Like, and I would refuse to handle it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, no, 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 totally, hello, let's turn on the music. Like, what's yeah. going on here? You remember me? I was always very. Couldn't be a dull moment. It couldn't be a silent moment. I'd be like, but what's going on here? Why everybody's so quiet? Yeah. So it's just. It's very, it's very sad when I look back mm -hmm. um, because I notice now certain things that I would do and certain behaviors. Yeah. So I notice why I would do that. And then it, 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 it really, it, 
when I think about it, it makes me a little sad mm -hmm. because I'm like, oh, that, you know, that's so sad. <laughs> like, that's so like, oh, <laughs> you only knew. But, yeah. you know, for me, it's I have a different answer mm -hmm. of why I think that people don't find true inner peace. And it applies to me mm -hmm. as well, specifically. Mm -hmm. And I think it has everything to do with because we don't know how to surrender. Oh. We don't know how to let go yeah, yeah. of the things that we have learned mm -hmm. and the things that we know. Mm -hmm. And I think that if we were strong enough, right, and better equipped with knowledge and tools, mm -hmm. we wouldn't attach ourselves to the first thing or so person true. that comes our way. Yeah, that's so right. True. So I think that inner peace has to do a lot with vulnerability. Yeah. It has to do a lot with you letting go of things that no longer serve you. But we are so quick to literally grab on, yeah, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> yeah, man. And if like if we were just able to be like, no, let go and keep going. Mm -hmm. But we can't do that. No, we can't because we are not being taught that. Even being conscious, though, yes. of saying, OK, I got to let this go. This is what I'm saying. You Me consciously yeah. already knowing that letting go is part of the process. I still have a hard time yeah. with surrendering to those things mm -hmm. because my old self does not want me to surrender. Yeah. My old self wants me stuck mm -hmm. because stuck means safety, right? It's so my answer is it has to do with surrendering, mm -hmm. letting go so that something new can come in and hopefully cleanse you. <laughs> because that's what we all need is a good cleansing from all the toxic waste a good <laughs> that we take on. Yeah. Yes. Like, so if you're listening, hopefully you can begin to have these conversations with yourself or a loved one and start getting to the root of it all. So maybe next time when you're sitting around the table having dinner with your families, your friends, your children, maybe the next conversation you can bring up is like, you know, how can we make this I don't know, this home or this household a little bit more peaceful or what do you, what can I do to bring peace into your life? Like have conversations like that yes. because it's not, it's not, I don't remember, I don't think my mom ever asked me like, <laughs> I'm trying to think, I don't know if my mom ever asked me like, you know, are you at peace? I know my mom asks me sometimes, are you happy? Uh -huh. You got to ask that? Yeah. Ask my that. mom would ask me, you know, are you happy? Or that's are you okay? Really, that's actually really good. Yeah, but I would lie to her. So what I used to do is because of the situations that she that she went through yes. and the situation that we went through when we were little, mm -hmm. um, when she would ask me like, oh, are you okay or are you happy? I would lie to her because I couldn't, I couldn't imagine me telling her no, I'm not happy. Oh, you and want to put, giving place her the, the burden. On well, her? because since I was younger, I wasn't happy, and I wasn't happy because of the situation that I was living in. Mm -hmm. Who put me in the situation that I was living in? My mother. She did okay. unconsciously, or like you know, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. I was there because she put me there. So you didn't want to. I didn't let her know that you put me here. Yeah, I didn't want to twist it. Like, okay. she was already... That was actually very so thought, thought, thoughtful of you, though. To even yeah. have the capacity as a child to even yeah. think about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was always very... When it came to my mom, I was always her, like... I I defend... You know how I am with my yes. mom. I defend her, too. And it doesn't even matter if she's the one, like... So, I, I have a question. What challenges do you believe that we face in maintaining inner peace in this world? I mean, one challenge that I'm currently facing, mm -hmm. and I think this is one that I'll be facing for the rest of my life, <laughs> and it's the one where it has everything to do with staying true to myself. Okay. And my belief and being solid in it, no matter what happens to me mm -hmm. or to anybody that I love. Mm -hmm. Because I think that it's very easy to sit here and say that you have inner peace when things are going kind of smoothly, mm -hmm. but when a loved one gets taken away from you or mm -hmm. something happens, mm -hmm. that's where you truly will know mm -hmm. how true that inner peace is. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is a main challenge right there. Mm -hmm. And then just the daily challenge of people poking you yeah. 
testing you, yeah. pushing you beyond your limits, yeah. and you having to remain in calmness, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you remain in calmness, it does not mean that you don't have a reaction. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, you will react because mm -hmm. you're human. Mm -hmm. You are feeling everything, if not more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. But after you feel everything, you have to be able to let that thing go. Mm -hmm. So the biggest challenge, it still remains the same for me, and it is letting go. Yeah. Because when you can't let go, you hold on to things that you shouldn't, you hold on to things that will grow and eventually will cause you a lot of pain and turmoil. So and that's just, a huge and, challenge. And you just, it's a mm. setback for yourself. Absolutely, it's a setback. You're just robbing mm. yourself. Yeah. yeah. So that that's my ongoing, I think, life challenge yeah. Yeah. is letting go. Yeah. So My, yeah. my challenge currently, like mm -hmm. literally, mm -hmm. what I'm going through right now, um, I think that it's not... It's not allowing other people's behavior towards me mm -hmm. or other people's actions or what they did to me or what mm -hmm. they are currently doing to me. Yes. Not let that change me. Not allow that because certain people are bad, mm -hmm. quote unquote, um, you shouldn't become I bad shouldn't because become bad, bad was done to you. Yeah. So that is the, right now, that is the biggest challenge mm -hmm. that I'm facing right now. Not because I want to do now bad things. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Because I've never, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, it has crossed my mind one of or course. two times. Mm -hmm. But it's just, I don't want the pain and the suffering and everything that I went through. To consume you? To, to, to change me. Yeah. I don't want it to change me because I don't think... Like what I said um, in a previous episode, I don't remember what episode we were, we uh, we was recording, but I had said that I I don't want my trauma to overpower my self identity. Like I don't want my trauma to become now my new identity, my new identity. And I that I think that's the biggest challenge that I am literally facing right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> in order for you for yeah. that not to happen. You need to tackle the original trauma. Yeah, that yeah, even yeah. Got you there. Yeah. No, so no, no. yeah, you you have to go back <laughs> and solve that first, <laughs> yeah, that first mystery <laughs> or issue, whatever you want to call it, because that is something that happens along the way. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. you begin to form your identity mm -hmm. based on the things that happen that, to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. based on the things that you absorb. Mm -hmm. So that's why I had to go back mm -hmm. and learn what those things were, mm -hmm. face them, and reprogram myself yeah. so that that inner peace can start coming in. And that's why I say it's an ongoing challenge. Even though I am at inner peace, it does not mean that I will not be tested. Yeah. It does not mean that I still can't change, yeah. right? But it all has to do with that foundation. Yeah. Your foundation is extremely important, and I cannot stress that enough. Yeah. So that do you think, and I'm only asking you this because I'm curious to see where you are at mm -hmm. with your spiritual beliefs. Okay. Right? And you already know how I already had my encounter mm -hmm. with God mm -hmm. and I've been on this spiritual path mm -hmm. of having a connection with him and that's how I was able to find my inner peace. Mm -hmm. But do you think that in order for you to find inner peace, mm -hmm. you have to have some sort of faith or connection or union with a higher being mm -hmm. or God? Um, That's an interesting question. And I know that a lot mm -hmm. of people... Um, are going to have mixed answers. Um, Absolutely, but this is a personal yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. This is so, more about how do you feel yeah. about that. So I personally, in my journey, I personally think that, yes, you need to have faith and you need to believe. Me, personally, I believe in God. I'm Catholic. Um, so I believe that without God and without faith, you cannot find inner peace. But that is my personal of course. opinion. Yes. Um, and I believe this because it just, because I'm very, you know, I'm very dramatic and goes out with it. <laughs> so why do you think that faith is necessary? So I could, again, 
I could only speak on my journey. Mm-hmm. I did not go out seeking for inner peace. Uh-huh. I did not go out seeking for God. Mm-hmm. He came to me. Mm-hmm. And when he came to me, it was when I understood that everything was going to be okay. Mm -hmm. He provided that stillness, that calmness. Mm -hmm. He gave me that faith and I felt protected. Mm -hmm. So that only came through him, nothing else. Because prior to him coming into my life, I was already having, or I already had an awakening. Mm -hmm. And that awakening is what led me to my happiness. Mm -hmm. And remember I told you in the beginning Mm -hmm. that I have experienced both. So my in my awakening, I experienced my happiness. I was the happiest person <laughs> that I think has even existed. Like, that's how I felt. I was so happy that I radiated and people that saw me felt it. They not only saw it, but they felt it. And it was great. <laughs> but that also came and left. It faded. It faded. <laughs> and yet God, when he came to me, he came to me at my lowest point. And even though I was going through so much, Mm -hmm. he let me know that I was going to be okay. And I feel like that is the only thing I needed to know Mm -hmm. to get through it. Mm -hmm. And I may not be at my happiest, but I get moments of happiness. Mm -hmm. I get moments of sadness. I get moments where I'm just in a lot of heartfelt pain. But no matter what the emotions are, I feel feel that inner peace and Mm -hmm. no one can ever rob me from that yeah and I think that I will only get tested and he will also test me along the way to see how strong my faith is Mm -hmm. so for me the answer is a hard yes Mm -hmm. and it's something that I say it will come to you you don't really have to do much to find him but you do need to do things to find peace on its on a regular level like you, there are steps to finding peace, but inner peace for me comes when he gives that to you. So leave some comments below. Let us know if you're in the journey of finding inner peace. Mm-hmm. If faith has anything to do do with it for you, maybe there are methods of finding it without having faith. And I think people need to hear that as well. It's just that yeah. our experiences have to do with the belief in that there is god out there who's looking out you know so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and we've left you refreshed enlightened (laughs) and ready to start your journey yes so please (laughs) make sure you subscribe because without you we would not be here doing this today yeah so enjoy guys